so today, I think you know, Secretary Austin is in Kyiv to meet with Ukraine's leaders. I think, I know this is of great interest to all of you. Um, uh, I just want to let you know we're still working this hour by hour. I do not have an update for you on the hostage uh, uh, deal that we're trying to negotiate. Uh, but as you heard the Deputy National Security Advisor say yesterday, uh, we believe we're closer than we've ever been. So we're hopeful. Uh, but, uh, but there's still work to be done, um, uh, and nothing is done until it's all done. So uh, we're, we're going to keep working on this. We're also working to increase the flow of life-saving humanitarian assistance, food, water, medicine. We're calling for respecting the inter international uh, law uh, in terms of minimizing the loss of innocent lives. And of course, we're continuing to advocate for humanitarian pauses so that people can get out of harm's way and that aid and assistance can get in. Over the last couple of days, the, 19th, the 18th and the 19th of November, almost 100 trucks carrying humanitarian aid uh, were able to enter Gaza. That brings a total to over 1,260. Uh, and then following uh, Israel's announcement that it's allowing fuel now into Gaza to support non-governmental organizations at our strong request. Uh, we are now tracking that six trucks have crossed down into Gaza uh, with approximately 18,000 gallons of fuel. That will help support food distribution uh, and it will help generators for, uh, for the hospital so that they can keep uh, working. The total number of U.S. citizens that we've been able to uh, move out of Gaza uh, through that Rafah crossing is now up to 800. We're continuing to work that every day as well. Uh, John, the, the United Nations family members, one of their deep abiding frustrations is that it's, I think, day 45 and they don't have any information.